welcome to a new episode and today you join me at a very special place uh, if you're into rotaries or even if you're not into rotaries Arya Mimiya is one of the best known tuner in Japan and this is actually their Tokyo shop this is where Amimiya san himself works out of um, there's a separate shop in Chiba where you know they handle all the customer cars and you know they have a shop selling merch but uh, this is really the heart of the operation uh, where Amimiya san actually builds engines and you know this is where all the D1 cars and uh, Tokyo Auto Salon cars are put together. So I just wanted to drop by and kind of take a look. Uh, hopefully Amimiya san is here. We'll take a walk around the... Oh, there he is right there. So the craziest thing is that, you know, after starting the company, what, 50 years ago, he is still every day working away, creating stuff, fabricating. And uh, here he is right now, welding away, at, uh, creating a bracket for some uh, support. We'll go inside, take a look. And uh, hopefully, if we're lucky enough, he'll take us upstairs and we can check out the engine room where he actually builds uh, the engines. So, I've shot here so many times over the years, usually after Tokyo Auto Salon. The big thing about Ari Mimiya is always that they created one project every year for uh, the Tokyo Auto Salon unveil. And after that, I've pretty much uh, shot every car that they ever created up until some years ago, usually for magazines or speed hunters. But today I wanted to do like a video tour of the place and starting off with the fact that this is actually the Amemiya Biru or Amemiya building. And it was built in 1991, the 1st of January. That's when it was open. And basically this is where the workshop is. First and second floor is all workshop. And then up there is apartments where Amemiya son lives and some of his mechanics live and it's basically a massive operation here in the heart of Tokyo. So we'll walk inside and take a look at the cool projects they're working on inside. I just had a quick chat with the head mechanic and he kind of gave me a rundown of, of what they're working on currently. So there's this Eunice Roadster Yara project that they're putting together. Uh, eventually we'll end up with a rotary engine. Uh, this really sweet SA22 RX-7 has just had a, a new engine dropped in. They're actually working on, you know, the ancillaries around the engine. So this is a 13B NA and you can see how the intake has been extended over the top of the engine. I'm saying that's really good for a mid-range response and you can see what this car is going to end up looking like. Over here is another SA22 customer car that they're working on. This project is a bit further back compared to, to this car here. But one thing I notice is that it's sitting on really cool vintage rims. And it's got an integrated kind of Bosozoku style rear spoiler or deck spoiler that's in the midst of being kind of blended in. The interior is all stripped out. Could we possibly be seeing uh, next year's Tokyo Auto Salon car? Let's keep that in mind and see if this actually materializes to become that. Uh, again, another 13B swap. Uh, it looks like this is staying NA2. Uh, actually, Anemia san is a big fan of keeping rotaries NA. Not so much for the D1 car here, the FD. This actually runs a four rotor turbo. And in between rounds, it's basically in for some maintenance, some slight changes. They're always trying to push performance as much as they can. So this, this section here of the workshop is where uh, all the fabrication is handled. They have a few basic tools and uh, drills and machines to help them, you know, create things like exhaust. So Mumia-san was just cutting away out of a big 
sheet of metal is creating pretty heavy duty uh, bracket for, for something. But you know, the, the thing that really stands out when you come here is it, it really hasn't changed much since they actually set the company up. These shops that, you know, most people would think, you know, Amimiya is kind of a body kit manufacturer, but you know, they do engine tuning too. They, they get their stuff done. All cars are always completely, you know, custom built from beginning till the very end by them. And uh, I think this sums up what this company is all about. It's all about power. It's all about complete cars and just extracting performance as, you know, the evolution in rotary engines, much like other older school Japanese engines continues as people continue to be into these engines and to these cars, the, you know, the evolution, you know, they're always pushing here. They're always pushing to perfect their cars, be it in motorsport or, you know, for street use and customers. It's, uh, it's amazing to see. And the crazy thing is that, you know, even after so much success and being so well known, Amemiya san is there every day working away and creating anything from brackets to whatever needs to be done on the day. All right, so uh, about this uh, D1 FD, uh, they actually debuted the, the car the first round last month. In June is the second round at Scuba, and they want to get it perfect. And it's basically running a four rotor uh, turbo setup. The turbo is currently off, but it runs a big GCG Garrett uh, GT42. It's got twin, twin wastegates, and it's connected inside to a Hewland sequential gearbox with a custom uh, set up when it comes to like linkages and positioning and at the back here the massive radiator with all the, the venting and air guides to get it uh, as efficient as possible cut out rear end a couple of extractor fans at the back and the little fuel tank sits slightly offset to the driver to counterbalance the weight and just get the, the balance correct and all above here is a collection of bumpers of every type some are stock, some are custom or Mimiya creations. There's even a dashboard up there. Rear FD hatch, doors. I mean, it's, it's all about maximizing space in Japan when it comes to workshops. So it's always interesting to see how everybody does it slightly different. And right here is a Revolution RX-8. Not sure if it's a customer car or anything. So this wasn't even a planned visit, so um, it was really nice for these guys to take a few minutes out of their work day to allow us to film inside and take a look at the cars that they're working on. We definitely need to go visit the other shop in Chiba and kind of take a look at some of their famous demo cars that they have. Hopefully they still have some of the cars that they built for the Tokyo Auto Salon this year. So I hope you enjoyed that and uh, you know we'll be trying to do more of these kind of shop tours even if it's a quick drop by. We just happened to be in the area so we thought you know let's see if he's in. It's always such a pleasure when you come here and you're so welcomed and uh, you're allowed to kind of roam wild in the workshop. So big thumbs up to Ari Mimiya. Hope you enjoyed this episode and check back soon for more. <laughs>